And Ben Ellis indicated across the cage during the announcements that he did not intend to touch gloves with his opponent here tonight, Josh. <laughs> yeah, confident start from uh, from Evans here, looking to try and get stuck in early. It's interesting we can hear his corner shouting for a lot of movement and to really keep his feet away. And here we see why Josh immediately Ben Ellis goes for that takedown and gets it. Yeah, picked up the single nicely, easy trip of the leg. Going to settle on top in, uh, this is a half butterfly guard here. Let's see if uh, Evans has any tricks off his back. He's looking to elevate, but it's a beautiful staple with that left leg from Ben Ellis. We've been told to look out for the stand-up skills of Brad Evans, so perhaps not where he wanted to be this early. And perhaps that's why we heard the corner asking for movement early on. I mean, Ellis has got quite a dominant position here on top. He's controlling the inside position between both legs very well. That's what that left staple was doing. Switches it to the right, looking to pummel back inside. It's good guard retention, though, from Evans. He was in a little bit of danger there for a moment. Looking to posture up here, create a little bit of space and get some leverage behind these punches as he looks to evade the guard. Uh, easy pass for Ben Ellis there, just got nicely over the top of his man, crowded him with the hips. Keep your toes out, keep your toes out. Um, referee Mark Goddard there just warning about the toes through the fence. You can push oh. off the fence <laughs> with the flat of your foot, but you can't hook your fingers or toes through the mesh. Brad Evans is looking for an interesting shoulder lock from the bottom. You don't really have any leverage to do it because you don't have any control of your opponent's body, but occasionally you can catch someone unawares. What he is doing is tying up the striking the arms of, of Ben Ellis, and that's uh, at least stopping him getting punched at this point. Looking to perhaps roll through there, but Ben Ellis staying very, very tight on top. He's got to be careful. He doesn't really want to have his arm held up around the head there. But this, is a, this again, is a lovely pressure-passing position for Ellis. See that left staple over the top, but this time with the, the body of Evans completely turned. That left leg folded all the way over makes his guard essentially dead at this point. You've got to wonder, Josh, who this fight favours the longer it goes on. As you said quite rightly about Brad Evans, a lot of his fights end up quite finishing quite quickly. Ellis, though, still hasn't gone three fives as this is his pro debut, so it's going to be interesting to see which way the seesaw swings as this goes into the second or possibly third round. Yeah, Evans is doing a good job of minimizing the damage here, and he, he's getting a few little threatening uh, figure four Kimura grips in on the arms. That's those tie-ups you can see him working for, but he's got to be careful not to give his back, and so far he's defending well in this, this turtle position, but it is one-way traffic for Ben Ellis right now. Evans looks to be cut on his forehead slightly there. Not going to be anything that interrupts the flow of the fight, but does show that these short shots from Ben Ellis have been landing. And this is the kind of suffocating performance we've seen from and through the amateurs. As you say, Josh, a lot of those victories at amateur coming by way of decision have been really good at just shutting people down. That's exactly what we're seeing here. Yeah, it was, a good, it was a good bit of hip riding, and what I was about to say was what he's not doing is striking because his arms are being tied up so much in defense by, by Brad Evans, but as soon as he got the chance to strike, just dropped the hammer on him. Yeah, it was a gutsy performance there from, um, you know, we say this with all due respect, with journeyman here, Brad Evans, but it's exactly the kind of fight a young prospect should be having at this stage. And for Ben Ellis, well, he couldn't really have gone any better. A suffocating performance. He proved that he's just as good at controlling and shutting down his opponents at pro as he was at amateur. And when he got, when he got the arms free, he was able to land some big punches. We're seeing in the replays now. Adjust his position and just starts firing huge jackhammer-like shots. Evans remonstrating very briefly, but as we'll see in this replay now, the head's getting rocked and wobbled all over the place. Evans had stopped defending by that point and looked like he may have even briefly gone limp there. Good call from referee Mark Goddard. As we take one final look at the finish here, and it's those piston-like left hands from Ben Ellis doing the job. He does go limp, and referee Mark Goddard 
steps in to save Brad Evans from taking any further punishment. We'll throw this one to our MC in the cage, Mr. Hal Chaplin, and he will make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mark Goddard, has called a stop to this contest after three minutes and 22 seconds of the very first round, declaring your winner by way of TKO. In the red corner, Ben Allen! I'm here with our winner, Ben Ellis. Ben, congratulations. First pro fight, first pro win. How are you feeling? Um, first off, I want to say thank you so much for the support that I had this week. Honestly, the amount of messages blew me away and everyone's here tonight, so thank you very much. Um, second off, I want to thank all my sponsors as well. Made everything so much easier. Normally, I'd list them, but to be honest, the adrenaline's still going. I'll probably forget a few people and get showered out on Monday. So, yeah, thank you very much to them, but I'll post something on social media afterwards about that. Do me a favor, take a look at, at that screen up there if you can and talk us through the finish because once you got a chance to strike, you, you really let the hammer drop. May I got a mixed opinions to be honest. It was a shame it ended so quick. I only got to show, what was it, two minutes? Two minutes of ground and pound. I got a lot more to offer than that. It's a shame I didn't get to show it, but no, grateful to be here. Awesome crowd, thank you everyone so much. And yeah, good luck to all the Welsh boys fighting tonight as well. Genuine, obviously we got gym rivalries in Wales, but I genuinely want all the Welsh boys to do well. Anything changed for you in this one? Obviously, you, you, you had a fantastic career as an amateur. You went to 8 0. Pro debut, a little bit different. Did you have to change anything, or were you just confident coming in uh, business as usual? No, mate, absolutely nothing. Uh, Math Academy, I've got the best gym in Wales. I don't care what anybody says. We've got six coaches in total covering absolutely every area. I wasn't remotely worried about a pro fight. It's just a shame that uh, Aaron Khalid's not going to get to show what he's made of because him and I grinded together non stop for eight weeks. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll leave it with that. We'll let you go celebrate with your team. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for your winner, Ben Ellis!